Mavis Otute took her last steps in this farmer's field. I wouldn't recommend trying to traverse, even in the, the daytime, tra traverse this, uh, this terrain. The, at night is even worse. After getting a call about a missing person, U.S. Border Patrol officers rode out on ATVs. They searched these fields for hours for the woman originally from Ghana. She was found in a irrigation ditch or a drainage ditch here. Asylum seekers have been crossing here all winter, and there were concerns someone could die. It's surprising the first loss of life comes in the springtime, although nighttime temperatures last week were hovering just above zero. The death is prompting people on both sides of the border to call for faster changes so it doesn't happen again. I feel sad that people have to do it, to come into your country this way. I think it would be a lot better if they made it uh, easier legally. Asylum seekers sometimes cross Mike Oman's yard to get to the border, and that worries him. I can see if they're trying to flee Syria or if they're trying to uh, flee Afghanistan, but why would they risk their life to flee the U.S. to get into Canada? It doesn't make sense. Under the Safe Third Country Agreement, refugee claimants from the U.S. are turned back at Canadian ports of entry, but if they can get into the country, International Convention allows them to make a claim here. In a statement, Conservative MP Ted Falk says, Tragically, many people are being coached to cross illegally and dangerously because the current system incentivizes such crossings. The federal public safety minister disagrees. And people should not think that, uh, that some uh, back door or side door is somehow uh, a free ticket to get into the country. It is not. The reeve of the border town where most of the asylum seekers have been crossing has been saying for months the federal government isn't doing enough to close that back door. I don't think this is going to be the last incident uh, and that's what's scary about it. Mavis Otute's daughter lives in Canada. She was likely trying to get to her when she died just half a kilometre from the border. Karen Pauls, CBC News, near Noyes, Minnesota.